everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. And as always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. As usual, let's begin with Time of Legends Joan of Arc. The Outstanding Scenarios book contains all scenarios from Joan of Arc's 1.0 iteration including all of its extensions and even the super exclusive scenarios. In addition to those, some of the online scenarios that couldn't be provided during the previous campaign due to time restraints, such as the solo scenarios for the dragon, beast, devil, and leviathan, and the dragon comic book scenario will also be included in this scenario collection. These will all use a new AI system to test your wits and teamwork to overcome the odds. These scenarios are developed by our friends and partners from Vesuvius Media, who were a huge help in playtesting all of the 1.0 scenarios again for our update process. They've proven their ability to create the best Joan of Arc content, and we look forward to sharing their work with you all. This big book will also contain all of the new 1.5 scenarios, including all of the Teutonic Knights ones and their stretch goals. In addition to that, we have one last scenario that some of you may have already seen or played somewhere else, The Escape, featuring Joan of Arc's retreat from her home village when attacked by the English forces before her story began, while some unseen forces of good and evil battle it out on the battleground. Oh, and... The Englishmen are followed by a dragon. <laughs> that might be good to know. For Super Fantasy Brawl this week, we have a new estimated day of arrival to our European Union port, which was yesterday, September 8th. We've also been informed by the shipping company in the EU that because trains are very full to transfer the goods from the port to the hub, they're expecting that the games will arrive at the hub around September 18th, but this includes clearing customs, which can also be a time-consuming process. The boat to our North American hub is due to arrive on the 15th of September, and we have no further information from them. Our Asian hub has already begun shipping orders, and we are still awaiting feedback from our Oceana hub, which is for Australia and New Zealand. But rest assured, we'll update you more when we have more information to relay. On to Enchanters. In response to your requests for double-checking the height of the insert and the dividers to ensure there will be no lid lift, Leo has personally seen to it using the white samples we just received from the factory and the other components from the Overlords expansion. As you can see, our project managers and designers have done a tremendous job in working with the factory to make sure that both the cards and dividers will fit quite nicely in the insert with the rulebook on top so that no lid lift will occur. And since we're confident in this, we also wanted to share a video with you from the factory showing how the inserts are manufactured. And of course, along with that, we have a couple other videos showing other components in their manufacturing stage as well. For Steam Watchers, we hit an important milestone. We feel that we have play tested the game enough to stop doing it on a daily basis. There are still going to be occasional games at the office to double check things here and there from time to time, most of them combining expansions together to make sure no aspect of the game has been overlooked. But we are now at a point where we feel like the design is complete. So now the polishing begins to ensure we have quite the shiny product to deliver. And finally, for Hell the Last Saga, we are continuing playtest sessions in new environments that are bringing new mechanics to bear. This week, our heroes are exploring a secret underground network that houses a strange makeshift mausoleum whose empty graves indicate trouble to come. Questions arise that 
could be answered by the strange inhabitant of these tun tunnels if he would only bother to cooperate. The frightening environment and darkness that reign in these places will force the players to manage the brightness of their torches and their fear to avoid being swallowed by darkness. Of course, we can't resist the temptation to reveal that this adventure will end in a rush and some violence. Something very big and formidable will appear above our heroes, trampling on the surface and threatening to bring down the narrow, unstable network that surrounds them. But we've said enough, maybe too much. The tabletop simulator module that you're all waiting for should be launched next week, along with a guide that will help you navigate the tabletop simulator interface built into the prologue of the game. And last but not least, our German and Italian backers can rest assured as we have received the draft rules in their language and our graphic designers are currently integrating them into the existing graphic layout as they discover the pleasure of formatting paragraphs of words of more than 16 letters. Big props to them. So remember that Leo will be live later today at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English, and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions. And that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.